We got some breaking news in the NFL. Jimmy Garoppolo ruled out for Sunday's game, so that means Trey Lance, he'll get his first career NFL start. Jimmy G, of course, has been nursing that calf injury. General Manager John Lynch mentioned this morning it was critical for Jimmy G to actually return to practice to at least have a shot for Sunday's game. Clearly, that's not the case. That's not going to happen. The team announcing, of course, that Lance will be QB1 this Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. Of course, their division foe currently 4-0 there. Let's bring off Jonathan Jones with this breaking news here. And JJ, Trey Lance in, Jimmy G out. Your reaction to that news coming down moments ago. Uh, it's the way it's been trending ever since it happened. Uh, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo, very emotional after the game uh, with that calf injury thinking that it was going to knock him out a couple of weeks. And then on Wednesday, Kyle Shanahan saying, you know what, hold on now. He actually might be coming along a little bit better than we expected. But when he didn't practice on Wednesday and didn't practice on Thursday, when he didn't come out to practice a couple hours ago, it became extremely clear uh, over this week that uh, their fear, at least Sunday after the game, that he was not going to play on this Sunday would ultimately be confirmed. And so it is Trey Lance, the number three overall pick, the guy that – uh, the San Francisco 49ers traded up to get, knowing that Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson would be off the board. This is the guy they did all the homework on, and he is now getting his opportunity. And frankly, this is part of the reason that they were so aggressive in going after Trey Lance, not just because he can be the future of their franchise there at the most important position in sports, but because their incumbent, Jimmy Garoppolo, who, as it currently stands, when he is healthy, is a better option at quarterback than Trey Lance. And I cannot emphasize that enough because the San Francisco 49ers cannot emphasize that enough. Uh, but Jimmy Garoppolo gets injured regularly, and it's an unfortunate part of his narrative, but it is certainly a part of his narrative, and that is the reason that uh, he is uh, in this sort of awkward situation with Trey Lance and helping him learn, knowing good and well that he's not going to be in San Francisco in 2022. And so uh, that calf injury that they had hoped earlier this week might get a little bit better may allow Jimmy Garoppolo to get out there at Friday practice it did not and so with no days of practice Jimmy Garoppolo out for Sunday all right knowing that of course with Trey Lance in a very small body of work last week 9 of 18 157 versus Seahawks what does this offense look like with Trey Lance I mentioned very little action so far in the season but what does he look like come Sunday well, again, he, he's sort of looked like a rookie quarterback uh, in his time out there. He looked like a rookie in the preseason and so far in his very short time. And you really don't count the red zone stuff that he got at the beginning of the season. Uh, you look more at what he was thrown into in the second half last week. And he's looked like a rookie. He's completing about half of, of his passes. Uh, his receivers in the preseason struggled with drops. We, we understand that a number of uh, receivers in the preseason uh, struggle with drops and so uh, that hurt his uh, that hurt his statistics sure but he and his coaches have really said that he has a whole lot more to learn and that he looks like the rest of the rookies out there is what offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel said earlier this week so he very clearly is their best available option but uh, the 49ers I mean I was out there back at the beginning of August where they were telling me to my face there was not a quarterback competition brewing in San Francisco. The Jimmy Garoppolo was very clearly at the lead. Kyle Shanahan, for whatever reason, just didn't want to flat out say it to the media, but the quarterbacks and the team understood who the starter was, and it was Jimmy Garoppolo. And he, Jimmy Garoppolo has played well enough the last couple of weeks to maintain that starter position. It hasn't been like Chicago, for example, and Andy Dalton uh, with Justin Fields. It's just a matter of getting injured. But your question, Brandon, is what is this offense going to look like? Obviously, you're going to have far more quarterback-designed runs involved. Uh, on Wednesday, Kyle Shanahan presented the offense with sort of game plan this week against the Arizona Cardinals. On Thursday, they installed a number of short yard yardage and third down situations that they wanted to work on. Today, they worked on red zone plays and installing all of those. Now, those have been you know, what uh, Trey Lance has really especially been working on the last couple of months uh, as he was preparing for this, but really dating back to the start of uh, the regular season, it's really been Trey Lance 80% with the scout team and 20% running with uh, the actual team doing what they were uh, planning to do that week. Uh, sort of obviously you want to give the one reps to the starter and that's been Jimmy Garoppolo. And so this week he's been in full control of the offense, the unquestioned number one, and he takes all of those reps into Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals.
JJ, uh, of course, when you look at that division, we saw what happened last night with the Rams right behind the Cardinals who were undefeated. If you're looking at the Niners, how did this kind of set them back? You know, the unknown with Trey Lance going into this game, trying to keep pace with others in that division there. Yeah, I'm not sure if you would have picked the San Francisco 49ers with a healthy Jimmy Garoppolo against the Arizona Cardinals, but you certainly wouldn't be picking the San Francisco 49ers against the last undefeated team in the NFL in the Arizona Cardinals, uh, now with Trey Lance, a rookie. So this does certainly set them back in this game, uh, and I, I think everyone understands that. The defense against the Rams last week, the Arizona Cardinals, just did such a good job of shutting them down in the red zone. If there is one place that... 49ers could potentially win. It is in the red zone because of Trey Lance's experience and proficiency there in the red zone, all of the practice that he has done there. It's just going to be a matter of between the 20s, is he going to be able to get the job done? And I would have to anticipate that there's going to be a whole lot of Debo Samuel and get the ball into his hands and let him go run. He is the best receiver in the NFL in terms of yards after the catch. You should do what is best for your team, and that is get the ball in the hands of the guys who know what to do with the ball in their hands. Unfortunately for Trey Lance, George Kittle, one of the best tight ends in the NFL, doubtful for the game. And so if, if he's able to go, he's not going to be 100%, but when you uh, desi designate someone as doubtful, that normally means that they're very likely not going to play in that game. So Trey Lance, a rookie who looks like a rookie, is going to be without uh, one of his uh, security blankets in George Kittle. Uh, going against the last undefeated team in the NFL, it's going to be a difficult game for the Niners. All right, we're interested to see how that pans out for Trey Lance here. Jonathan Jones, appreciate your time. Well, the breaking news of Jimmy G not playing this Sunday, but Trey Lance getting this start there against the Cardinals. And J.J. just mentioned the last undefeated team happens to be in our division. Hey, don't forget, Inside the NFL, check them out. Always having a new episode there. J.B. and the guys breaking it down. New episodes every Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Also exclusively on Paramount Plus there. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.